Caddx TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Friday, January 29th, 2016. If you want to follow us on Twitter, please go to Caddx TV. Earlier in the week, we reported on an American Airlines flight from Heathrow to London International, uh, from Heathrow to Los Angeles International, that was forced to turn back over Iceland about two and a half hours into the flight because of a mystery illness that felled about five passengers and at least one flight attendant. Now it seems that American Airlines Flight 904 last night from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil to Miami had to divert to the Brazilian capital of Brasilia uh, because of a similar kind of illness. According to passengers who are tweeting about this, they made an emergency landing because crew members and passengers on board passed out and became unwell. No uh, comment from American Airlines yet as to what the issue is. The Japanese have put their military on the highest level of alert for a possible North Korean ballistic missile test. This is after indications that the North Koreans are preparing for a test firing. Of course, this happens just several weeks after North, Koreans, uh, North Korea's alleged detonation of a hydrogen bomb, or so they claim. Uh, tests indicate that it was just another atomic uh, bomb. However, the missile test uh, coming so soon after that nuclear test raises concerns that North Korea plans to fit nuclear warheads on missiles that could certainly give them the capability to launch a strike not only against South Korea, but against Japan and possibly as far away as the U.S. East Coast. The automaker Nissan is recalling thousands of Altima mid-sized cars for the third time, this time again to try to fix a latch problem that could let the front hood fly open while the car is moving. The recall covers 846,000 cars manufactured from 2013 to 2015. In documents filed with the U.S. government, Nissan says that paint can flake off the hood latch, exposing bare metal, which over time can rust and corrode. It's weekend in Brussels for uh, British Prime Minister David Cameron. He's there now and is going to remain there in intensive talks with European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker. Uh, Cameron is discussing uh, how a proposal he has, uh, if agreed to by the Europeans, uh, could be then moved through Parliament and enacted, which might allow uh, the June referendum, which is tentatively set for June, uh, that Britain is going to hold on determining whether or not they're going to stay or leave the EU. The proposal would uh, be a, a so-called emergency break, which would allow any European Union state uh, to reduce benefits to workers arriving from other European Union countries if uh, the leaders agree that its welfare system is at risk. Uh, the idea of getting Juncker to agree to this is one thing. Uh, the next thing would be to get the leaders of the other countries to agree to it. Of course, Cameron is very concerned that what continues to happen is a flood of refugees coming to Britain from other European countries taking advantage of the British uh, welfare system. Egypt's Red Sea resorts have incurred losses of about 6 billion pounds, or $766 million, according to government statistics, since the crash of the Russian passenger plane on October 31st. Interestingly enough, the uh, news came this morning that uh, the Egyptians have identified that a pilot, excuse me, that a mechanic may have placed a bomb on board the plane, and the uh, cousin of the mechanic is an ISIS member. Uh, the Red Sea resorts of Sharm el-Sheikh and Hurghada uh, have been very popular with Russian tourists uh, who have all but dried up since the accident. Uh, Europe, uh, the tourism industry in, in uh, Egypt has seen their total receipts drop 15% in 2015. Well, uh, yesterday there were a series of nine large booms, earth-shaking booms in the New Jersey, New York area. A number of people thought, of course, that there was an earthquake or a series of earthquakes uh, going on. It was not that at all. Supersonic uh, airplanes, uh, which are illegal, even the Concorde, when it was flying, was forced to fly at sub-supersonic speeds when it was making its approaches and uh, takeoffs from Kennedy Airport. Um, however, that does not apply to the military. It seems that uh, aircraft from the Naval Test Wing Atlantic were conducting routine flight testing in the Atlantic test ranges uh, that included activities which resulted in sonic booms. An F-35C from the Patuxent Naval Air Station in Maryland, uh, which was accompanied by a uh, FAA-18 aircraft, 
uh, were apparently in the air for a number of hours, creating the nine sonic booms that rattled people all the way from New Jersey to Long Island. At the news for today, we'll be doing the news from London on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We're not taking American Airlines over, but we are taking them back. If we have anything to report, we'll tell you. Thank you for watching and have a good weekend and we'll see you Monday.